What's up guys, this is Charlie, a writer from techinform.us, and today I'm here with another video about Lion. Now, Mac OS X Lion was released on Wednesday, July 20th, 2011, and there are a lot of pros and cons about the new operating system. I know a lot of people who have been having major problems with it, and I know some people who have been having absolutely no problems with it. It's flawless. Now, I'm kind of in the middle. I think that, well, my personal preference is that this is not the best thing Apple's ever done. Um, they could, there is, there, it's significantly slower on my Mac. Now, I'm not saying I'm on the best hardware, but, um, it's much slower than Snow Leopard was. It will, if you do, if you like doing a whole lot of things at once, um, it will limit your productivity. No longer can I have, um, After Effects and Xcode open at the same time, or Photoshop and, um, the app store, something like that, um, and have it run smoothly. Now, I'm not saying it's not usable. It's definitely still usable, but it's not as smooth. It's not as Apple-like as we have seen from previous OSs. Now, um, today in this video, I'm actually going to be going over some app new features of Line, so you can kind of get a general perspective perspective of, of what you'll be getting if you do decide to upgrade to Line. Now, um, taking a look at Apple's website right here, um, just I've just gone to the apple.com slash macOS slash apps. Um, they have a whole bunch of new features. Um, I'm just going to be going over the ones right here. Start off with the Mac App Store. Um, now, they really haven't done anything new to the Mac App Store, but they've added some new apps. Like Lion, they have, they've added Lion. Um, so, it pretty much looks the same as it was, pretty much looks the same as it did when it was released in 10.6.6, I believe it was. So you still got all the categories and all this thing, all these things. So um, that's they haven't really done much to that except add some more apps that are compatible with Line. Next is Safari. I'm using it right now. They've done a complete refresh on Safari. We now have the Readers tab right over here on the left-hand corner. Um, it has a very it has, it has a very slightly tuned interface, and um, another feature is that on the very top right hand corner there's a full screen. Um, it'll basically go full screen. Pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah, makes it a little, it makes it a little bit um, easier to web browse the web without any distra distractions on your desktop. The next, I'm not going to open, open up mail, but it's pretty much the same thing as the picture shows right here. Um, they've kind of done the same thing as Microsoft did with Microsoft Outlook. Um, they have the messages on the left and the actual um, pictures and the emails on the right, and they also have full screen mode. I count. I can go. I can. I can go ahead and open this up. Um, they did a complete refresh on this too. So as you can see right here, I'm flipped to a different month because of privacy things. Um, it looks different. Actually, it kind of looks like a calendar. Um, scroll through pages. Excuse me, like this. Um, just go through, and you can pull the pages back. So, it's it's a very nice upgrade from the actual old iCal. Next, right here, I'm not gonna open this up, but it's a dress book. They've pretty much done the same thing. You can swipe through pages and contacts. Time machine, not too familiar with it. FaceTime, haven't tried it yet. And the last feature I'm going to show you in this video today is called um, versions. Now, this actually works with text edit, I believe, but mostly with um, the Apple, Apple's iWork suite, which is Pages, Keynote, and Numbers. So I have this test document right here on my desktop that I just typed up this morning. Really doesn't have anything to do with anything. But um, we're just going to wait for Pages to load up. All right, so when Pages opens, here's the actual document that I typed up. Nothing too special. Um, you can actually go up here where it says Test Documents. That's the um, name I named it, and you're gonna click this, and you're gonna hit Browse All Versions. It'll basically fly you up to a time machine-like interface where you can actually browse through all of the different versions that you've created. So, um, here we have the original document, and here we have four different versions of it. Um. Here, let's say um, we have a little bar right here. I can click, and it'll basically scroll through right here. 
I might add this this part versions actually uses a lot of RAM, so and what's I find kinda cool is you can actually write your paper. Um let's say I wanna write Hello YouTube, this is and blah blah blah. So um, let's see, as you can see, I just completely deleted everything in the uh, document. So I'm just going to save a version, and then let's say I actually didn't mean to do that. So, this is when versions come in handy. You're going to browse all versions. It'll fly you back up to that time machine-like interface. Uh, let's go back. We want to restore this one right here. And then there we go. We have this document right here with all the text that I've edited. So it's kind of like time machine, backing up and restoring except you're doing the same thing with documents. So, um, I hope this video helped anybody who was deciding to upgrade to Lion. These are just some of the basic features that you will find in Mac OS X Lion. Now, it is available for upgrade in the Mac App Store, and I definitely do recommend it at this point. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the website that I write for at www.techinform.us, as you can see right here, for all the latest technology news and updates. Also, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Again, that's A-B-N-E-R-C-U-S. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Catch you later.